to be light and say, let's shut this door here. Freaking dogs of mine. One of them has figured out how to open up the door already. And we're going to light up the fire here. Let's see if we can find our boys first. There's one. There's the other one. What are you guys doing? Huh? What are you guys doing? Huh? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing there, Stormy? Oh, yeah, watch out, boys. Watch out. Come on. Where's Sammy? Where's Sammy? Go get him. That's it. You just chew on his face some more. Go get him. Go get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, a little face hockey. Okay. You didn't light the fire up the hell with it. Safely locked. This should go up like friggin' crazy. She's a good six feet high. So anyway, I can't put any more on it unless I cut it. So that's what we're out here doing right now. And then we'll have a little fireside chat. Let me see here. And there she blows. That should be perfect, actually. Okay. catches fire the rest of it should where there's smoke there's fire and this stuff is dry very dry It's a good idea to get this thing lit because it's already over my head. And once it catches, boy, that's it. Once it catches. It 
doesn't look good. Thumbs burning there. No. Okay. This gotta get rid of this freaking wood. That don't light. Then I think I might give up. That's promising. Nice out now that the wind has died down. Yes, yeah, so you've seen the, where this brush came from. We'll, we'll probably get twice as much, three times as much as this before we're done from up there. So, uh, something. Well, maybe it's going to go. There's a lot of sticks down along the ground here too. 
that eventually get picked up. And it'll end up in the fire here. So, if it catches, we're going to be good because we got a couple of old fence posts in there, all kinds of old bed stuff, which reminds me. I might have to deal with this apple tree here, this first one. We've had some massive fires here in this pit. Come on, light up the rest of it. Not feeling too confident. The chainsaw, I sharpened it yesterday, so it didn't do too bad in there today. You got to be a little more mindful of that <laughs> into the ground. Come on, let's burn. Hardly any of it's alive. I think she's going to go, but... So Halloween, it's nothing I get too excited about anymore. Of course, I don't have any kids anymore. They're adults. They got to deal with their own Halloween now. The pranks that we used to pull when we were kids. I remember when Crazy Glue first came out. I was a mischievous little guy. I came up with a bright idea, although I didn't do it, of uh, gluing down <coughs> people's wipers to their windshields. And uh, putting some mud on the windows. And, of course, we did the doorbell ring in and stuff like that. But, not too bad. Yeah, she's lit now. I don't like that. It cost me two matches. I'm trying to uh, economize. <clears throat> Next year is going to be a tough year for finances. going by. What time is it? 
25 to 6, and I think uh, last light, about a half an hour maybe, 45 minutes. And today's Saturday, so they're still allowed to go shooting. hoping this thing here takes off real fast and burns the bulk lion's share of it then I could shove a bunch of the stuff that's not in there in there and I need to be doing this down over the hill but my wife's got me too busy up here Buddy's wife's coming out here tomorrow, and I gotta. My wife's got to be working for her now. Gotta go and cut some birch down for Christmas for her or something. I don't know what it is. That's going pretty good now. And it's not too sparky. Excuse me. So already wondering about what to do about next year's garden. The uh, turnips that we got stored in the garage and the squash are all going soft on us. I think what's the problem is is that they need to be stored somewhere cool and in nitrogen so that they don't have oxygen to go bad. that she's starting to go good eh Woohoo! oh it's starting to move nice hot fire and you on our roof you see the little chimney sticking up there that's uh there's no smoke coming out of the fireplace either so that's well seasoned wood in there and the smoke's not too bad off of this either because most of this is dead. Probably been dead for 10 years too. I think this will be okay on its own now. Give it a few more minutes. And that's why I saved the cardboard up. Because of the glue and stuff like that that's in there. Because it's corrugated and it's all glued together. The glue burns good. Helps it catch fire good. I don't want to melt my camera here. It's the last thing I need. So you put your good folks right there and you can watch that.
Ja. Ja. I would say she's ripping. You can feel the heat. And my new shoes are kind of half boots things. They're not bad, they're kind of they're pretty comfortable actually. I'm wondering if uh, Facebook and my Sheepy Hollow on the Facebook page, if there's a way I could put a map up there where you could pin where you live on there so that I could see where everybody lives and uh, that's, that are subscribers. Kind of interesting. Then it helps so I don't forget where you're at. And I do remember, like right now, don't need this piece of paper. Oh, that was good. So let's have a Get the fire on the Facebook page. I don't know. You can go live out here or not. I don't have next to nothing for a signal. One dot. Let's see. How do you do that? I know you used to be able to go live. Hmm. Don't look good. She's struggling. Casino, take off. Anyway, that ain't working. Facebook, try it again. It's down to about four feet now. I 
guess you can't go live on Facebook anymore. Down to three feet. Well, time to move some stuff around. Hang on. Boys and girls. Shove some of that in there. Here's a fancy thing. This here is a high pressure thing called the Kelly ring. It's on what's left of a stainless steel rod that my friend Sandy or Scully 
for those of you uh, who know my past, made this for me when I worked in the gas plant. The professional fire poker. getting her. Hang her up, nice and safe. Now, I need one more tree and I need about one foot, seven inches actually. of which I could stick on the top there maybe. But uh, my neighbor down the road, about a mile or two from here, has uh, got a sawmill and he's got a bunch of extra uh, boards, first cut slabs, I think they call them. And I'm gonna fix this thing up. I'm gonna put it all around on three sides to keep the uh, weather off of it. Up, and there'll be enough natural, well, there'll be enough gaps in it. I'll just pound it up best as I can. And that'll uh, allow me to uh, hoard this thing in. It'll keep it, uh, the wood, from getting uh, hit with the snow, di or the snow and the rain directly. And I've got to come in here. I've got some little stumps sticking up here and there from uh, when I cleaned that out to move this thing over. You can see there's the green one there, right? I got to kill that off. Just kill everything in this little general area. And I'm also thinking about taking the stump out of the tire. Because I could throw, uh, you know, three, four smaller rounds inside that tire and split them inside of that, and it keeps them from flying all over the place. I just don't feel like doing it right now. And I actually take that tire and roll it over here so it's closer to uh, where the wood's got got to go, actually. As soon as I get the wood, I'll uh, probably start on the back wall here. We'll see. Well, looks like I'll have to save the back wall to do the sides first. And I got to get some help to... Uh, get this thing it's level not bad from uh, when you're looking at it from the front but when you're looking at it from the side it's not level at all oh look fire's almost out so we're good to go here now you can hear the water in the, some of these sizzling. Maybe I'll shove some more of that in there. Hang on. Then we'll wrap it up. There we go.
sure don't want to be wearing my spandex around there. That nylon would catch fire and melt right to my legs. If you believe I got spandex. <laughs> So that's not bad. Don't really have to watch it now. I don't do this much in the summertime because it's never, uh, it's so dry here. It's supposed to be, uh, October is supposed to be the wettest month, but it hasn't been pouring out like it. I thought it would. Usually it's just freaking crazy here. We want to get as much groundwater into the ground as we can before the big freeze comes because uh, that's it. The rest of the water will just run off. Down Lover's Lane here, I seen like a river coming there here off of those big fields up there. And it just goes right here over the side of the hill down through this where you see the uh, goes down here. The sun's just about down now. And there it is. The hollow. You see all those little brown beauties? That's burdocks. And the boys keep getting into it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a newspaper in here. Why is that? Let's take that out of there. This is supposed to be a bird bath. Our friend made out of a great big uh, rhubarb leaf. Imagine that. Plus, I've got to trim this. This here has got a rose bush growing in it. Every time I drive by it on the mower. Ends up drawing blood. Look at all that. See that? That's all baby burdocks. All that green, the bigger green leaves. At first I thought it was like rhubarb everywhere. I found out different. Well, folks, that's it. By the way, if you don't see from me for a couple of days, we've got the freaking iffiest uh, internet. And the only other internet that's available out here is uh, dial-up. And I don't even know if they have dial-up anymore. Our uh, internet provider seems to have a lot of problems with their equipment. They're more concerned about getting customers. Now... Away out there to the left of where that sun's shining. And I'll take you out of the sun here. That's where the tower is. And uh, our internet connections on the other side of the house is a small dish pointing right towards their tower. Everybody else on this road has to go uh, up. Straight up uh, onto the satellite. And ours is basically a satellite as well. The best day I can get is, uh, I think it's 10 megabit of a connection, which is, well, if it's running, it's not bad, but generally it doesn't run that speed. So what do you figure? It looks safe now. I don't really have, I should go down and get that rake. And I'll leave it here. But of course, we've got another dead battery issue. And 
I don't think you want to have uh, videos any longer than an hour. And uh, I'm mighty grateful to all of you that uh, actually watch it that long. I can't imagine cutting them down. And I mean, there's a few places that I'll speed things up. Like if I'm gone to the city and I go into a store, you don't need to sit there looking at the friggin' wall till I come back. So I usually speed the, or cut that out actually. And so it just merges into the next one. The longest video I've made is two hours. But I managed to get about, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes shaved off. But other than that, hope you all have a good Halloween. And uh, hopefully I get this up in time or you won't. It'll be after that. November 1st tomorrow. Don't forget tonight we have to put our clocks all back. I like to go back uh, about 60 years, actually, till I was seven years old. I think that wouldn't be bad. 1960. A little, how, how wise you are, the older you get, eh? In most cases. Okay, love you. See you guys soon.